What's up, Locker Nuts? All right, today we're going to do something a little bit different. Yes, we're going to be unboxing. Yes, the boxes came from the train unit. That's what we've been unboxing, well, for a while now because it's been, there was a lot of stuff and it's been great, great finds. But today I'm going to do a little different. I'm going to be doing speed unboxing. So, look, I'm just not having enough time lately to do everything. Shoot videos, unbox, auctions. We've been doing three auctions a week for the past couple weeks. This week we're going to slow it down a little bit and have two, but I still don't have enough items. So, I don't have time to like film everything go slow and in it it takes it takes a lot of time. Trust me, it really does. So today, I'm going to pull a box out unbox it and then lay it all out on the table here and then show you what I got kind of like a summary so you'll be able to see box by box what we find but just not the you know slow pulling it out we'll get back to that soon enough but right now I gotta go quick so let's get to it all right to start with let's go through this box here and that's not a in a box but we'll Check that out too, little Department 56 stuff. All right, here's what we got. We got um, a Lionel train set here. This is called the Redwood Valley Express. These three pieces right here, this is some good value. This is 75 to 100 bucks on eBay sold plus shipping right here. This right here, Rio Grande. Uh, I didn't look this one up, but this is another piece. Ooh, that's kind of cool, look at that, TNT on the barrels. Uh, that piece looks like it goes with it, same size scale, so. We'll be selling, this is going to go right in the auction, guys. This right here is going straight in the auction. This right here, Spooky Farmhouse, Department 56. This will probably go on eBay. These larger Department 56 pieces, I feel more comfortable putting them on eBay because uh, shipping is kind of an X factor with this stuff. Even with this train, it's a little bit of an X factor, but Department 56, we got a lot of these pieces. And this is a Spooky Farmhouse. It's a Halloween piece. The This ranges anywhere from 60 to 120 sold price on ebay i'm not sure why the broad range because both those sales um seem brand new but uh this is a good find right here and i think we have a lot more of these pieces coming out so good stuff all right next box is not really a box it's a bin a tote and this one has seen better days it's cracking up it's cracking up i'm not sure what happened to the lid on it but uh doesn't matter i'm gonna take all these items out and sort them on the table let's go all right, here's the table. There's a ton of stuff in that box. And unfortunately, it started out really good. I pulled these out. These were all inside of a little box. And this is a locomotive right here. You know, it doesn't look like one. It's super heavy. This is a locomotive. Very heavy. And I got all these passenger cars here. It's all end scale stuff. And that will go in a lot for the auctions. Have this little uh, rail crossing sign here. That's pretty cool. And um, that will go in the auctions. This is a really nice train frame. Not a big deal. Not high value. That will go in the auction, though. At some point, we'll lot up a bunch of train stuff again. I did find this car here. What is this? O-scale or something? I'll have to look it up. But it's a, another one of those explosives cart. I guess they're supposed to pop apart when you blow it up or whatever. There's a whole bunch of, what, five or six of these infantry kits to make little model guys paint them or whatnot. And build your little landscapes probably that's what this is for a little grass terrain or something here's a tin that says jazzercise this is random stuff right um some uh, craft paint here i think it's fabric paint i'll have to see if those are dried out if they're not i'll i'll start building a bin for some craft stuff a few candles randomness right some hook and loop i believe this is not velcro because that would be a copyright violation and uh Go, uh, golf balls with train stuff on it a little coffee mug with some i don't know wolves and indian stuff a little dream catcher and then here is np80 rechargeable battery pack i don't know if there's value there here's a metropolitan like a glass serving tray or it looks like they use them for makeup or something here's a couple of brand new boots explorers it says Look at that, brand new. It's got a tag there, like 20 bucks brand new. A few more train calendars. Again, we'll put that aside and put that in a train lot. Try to get enough stuff to make it interesting and auction it off. Hey, we got a couple of shoe inserts. A couple of ski gloves in there. They've seen a little bit of use. And they're a little 
old too. This is a good find here. We've got a couple of uh, tape measures. Stanley, both of, both of them brand new in the package. Uh, that's a nice little find. It's worth a few bucks. We'll probably get, I don't know, five bucks each for those at the flea market. And then here we've got some vintage shirts. This actually is a good find right here. Angels Camp. That's, uh, that's oh, right here. Look at that, 1983. Angels Camp is a town near here that is famous because it's part of gold country. Part of the Gal California gold rush. There's a lot of history there. Uh, look at these shirts. Though. These are some old shirts. They, they have obviously seen some wear. Uh, that doesn't seem to matter to the vintage market, though. Sunstrokes of Hawaii. And a Lake Tahoe. These are some old shirts, and you know what? These will go in our auction. Those do extremely well. Here's the Oakland A's. Uh, just a little duffel bag, small duffel bag. With co cross promo, 7-Eleven, Coca-Cola. Here's a uh, pasta. <laughs> Fork, spoon, whatever. Oh, boy. What else we got? This is from McDonald's. It's a Disney glass. And it was still in the McDonald's bag, but the bag's kind of thrashed. So I took it out. These are collectible. Not not worth that much, but we'll see if we can find a few more pieces. Uh, we found a few more stamps here. These are from 1995, so I'll probably just throw them in a bin. Start building up a stamp set. Here's a little bunny patch. Add that to a miscellaneous box. Here's a little music cassette, like a sampler. Add that to a miscellaneous box. And then here we've got something a little bit better. So check this out. This note right here was with these. These are beautiful. It says Oco Pot Geode. And they are from Brazil. Look at that. These are gorgeous. I don't know about value on these, but they definitely have a cool factor to them. Little slices of geodes and they're polished up. Really beautiful. And then we have we do have a couple of geodes right here. Nice. What's really cool about this is a lot of guys have been asking us in the auctions, do you have any stones, do you have any rocks, do you have any fossils, minerals, anything. And we really haven't. I've got a couple pieces I set aside, but now we've got all of this. Uh, so we'll start building a nice little lot for you guys if you want to buy those at the auction. All right, next box slash tote slash whatever. Let's get in this one. All right. Looks pretty good. Okay, guys, I like that box better. That box was incredible. Check this out. We'll start over here. Uh, a couple of DV DVDs with a couple of uh, model train DVDs sealed in the wrapper. We're going to add that to our miscellaneous train uh, lot. That's kind of cool. This is some little stuffed animal duck. Uh, Oakland A's barbecue mitt, or, you know, for, probably for barbecuing. It's an oven mitt and a pot holder. A couple more A's things, ketchup, mustard. Plastic bottles, brand new. It's a glass from the old spaghetti factory. Nothing too special there. Um, look at all of these ornaments we got right here. All these. These were um, these were still in the Hallmark bag. He bought a bunch of them at a time. Had a huge old uh, Hallmark bag. And look at this. We've had some of these before. Exact same ones, I think. And now we got more. So these do very well in the auctions. So... Guys, expect to see some of these coming up here very, very soon. Then we got some more train stuff. Here's an HO scale kit. Looks like you put on the trucks on the bottom. It still needs to be assembled, brand new. Here's a um, heavy locomotive here. I think that's in scale. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's a little bigger. Here's this stuff. Oh, I think this is HO, maybe. I don't know. Cool. Here's a little tunnel uh, fascia for when you're building your models. Neat stuff. A little bikes, bicycle headlamp. No big deal there. Oh, yeah. We got a ton of Hot Wheels. Ton of Hot Wheels. Good, 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 good. And then we got one of these, too. These uh, V-dubs, Jada toys. But Sorry, guys. This one's not going to get auctioned. This is going to my buddy, Jeff. He likes, he collects these, and uh, I've been putting those aside for him. And this, I think, is a very nice little piece right here. I like that. We got another die cast. We're loving those. So we've been lotting those up four at a time. And uh, auctioning them off. Here's a little bit bigger one right here. What's this? Uh, I don't know what scale that is. I'll figure it out. Uh, a little Halloween decoration. No bigs there. I found a bunch of nickels in a cup. 
So we'll add that to our coin star haul, which is right under here. See that, See that jug right there starting to build up. And then check this out, guys. This is probably the best part. Maybe, I don't know. There's a lot of good stuff here, but look at all of these pins. Sharks, A's. Good, good stuff. So many, so many sports pins. This bag's full of them. We have some flattened pennies, too. Full of them. And a little bit more over here, too. Check it out. Boom. What's that say? It's Giants World Series pin. We got great stuff here. Great stuff. That was a nice little box. All right, next box. We got a cardboard box here. And... Uh, oh, I see some Barbies. Oh, this will be interesting. All right, let's get to it. Okay, this box wasn't quite as exciting. Some weird stuff in here, like some suntan lotion. <laughs> uh, this Barbie is it's all right. 40 bucks. I don't think it has that much value, though. I don't think they hold their value all that well, but we'll see. We'll look it up. Um, this G.I. Joe, however, might be a little bit better. This is actually the second one that we found. And I think the other one came out of this unit as well. And, uh, yeah, that's what he looks like. Check him out. This is pretty cool. Now, if I remember correctly, I made, I think I looked this guy up, and I think he's 100 bucks. I might be wrong. I might be wrong. I'm going to have to look these guys up. We also found an Aircast. Aircast. That's interesting. Very interesting. Uh, and then we have this apron right here. This, like an engineer's apron with a train on it. I think we'll put that with our train lot. We have this aerobics uh, jazzercise VHS. This guy's really in aerobics. I think they owned a jazzercise studio or something at some point. And then this empty uh, plastic container. So, kind of cool. All right, these are actually not too bad. They sell for between 25 and 40 on eBay plus shipping. Not too bad. Better than I thought, actually. This, not as good as I thought. These sell anywhere from 25 to 50 And, um, yeah, I thought they were more, but still, that's plus shipping, so not bad. The two of these together, I'd say easy 60 70 bucks. All right, next bin right here. Next tote. All right. Mm hmm. See some Depart 56, potentially. Let's see what else we got. Okay, that's what it looks like. We got a bunch of Department 56, and then there was a bag. Dang it, there's a bag of bras and underwear and athletic wear. And it's just, I'm saying dang it because we just blew all this stuff out at the auction on Friday. Uh, so I don't know. Maybe we'll have to make some more lots, but check this out. This is cool. Cold Care Clinic. Custom Stitchers. Got the one of those Heritage ones. It's kind of nice. Reindeer training camp. Look at this Marie's dollhouse. That Marie Osmond. It's funny. And another custom stitchers. We've got two of those, I guess. All right, I hope you guys are enjoying this speed unboxing. Um, we'll get right to the next box in just a sec. But first, I just wanted to say thank you so much to Lynn Wilson. First of all, Lynn is a Bonafide Nuts member that makes her Bonafide Nuts. But second of all, she's just been a huge supporter of ours way back, like n near the beginning. And uh, she's always had so much encouragement for us. She supports us in every way she can. She's also a big buyer at our auctions. We really, really, really appreciate you, Lynn. Thanks so much for being a Locker Nuts and especially a Bonafide Locker Nuts. If you guys aren't sure what we're talking about, Bonafide Locker Nuts, that means that you're a member of our channel on the Bonafide Nuts level. If you too like to learn more about becoming a member, hit the join button below. You'll find out more about it. And uh, we have fun here on the channel. Thanks for watching. Let's get back to it. All right, next box, our tote. Uh, looks like more Christmas stuff. All right, let's get to it. All right, here's what was in that box. And sure enough, lots of Department 56. Lots of it. I'm going to have to start listing this stuff on eBay uh, because I got a lot of it. And I, I'm pretty sure some of this stuff's got good value. And these pieces are large. So like this, look at this town tree set of five pieces. And this Heritage Village collection, I think, is a little bit better, a little bit more expensive. 
that's what it looks like. And um, all of this is the Heritage Village collection. This just says Village. But, um, yeah, we got a lot of stuff here. We got some little stuff. These are Department 56 right here. This is Department 56 right here. Uh, none of this stuff is. This is a candle. And a couple of uh, random Made in China ornaments. This funny. This is fireworks. <laughs> uh, ground balloons and some black snakes. These are cool. Um, but, yeah, it's kind of a random thing to have in here. But, we uh, yeah, we got to get the listing. This is some good stuff. All right, check this bad boy out. We got a big tote this time. Full. Full of stuff. And, uh, yeah, it's kind of heavy, too. And I, I don't really have much insight looking through the clear or opaque tote. There could be anything in here. So let me get the digging. And uh, hopefully I can fit all this on the table. All right, there's a lot of stuff in this one. Uh, but there's a lot of trash, too. But let's just look over it. We got some Department 56. I stacked it up here. Decent stuff. That'll sell good. Here's a Kiss trivia game, brand new, shrink wrapped. Here's some uh, bobble bobbleheads, A's bobbleheads. That's pretty cool. And then this little um, A's uh, plastic cup that came in that black box right there. There's some miscellaneous A's stuff right here. Maybe we'll lot all that up. This is good right here. This is a little die cast. We love finding these, but this one is. I think that's especially cool. Very very neat. Looks like it's a bank too, because there's the compartment underneath i like that piece um this is a f appears to be a fur hat and i say that it, at first i thought well that's faux fur but the fur is actually coming out um so maybe it's faux fur it's made by dockers though i can't imagine dockers using real fur well anyways i don't know if it's real or not here's some miscellaneous halloween decorations brand new toothbrush couple tools not nothing that big there's some fireworks morning glories look at that it's funny um crazy glue we love finding that because every now and then i need to fix something and i never i never have to buy crazy glue got some bungee cords right there uh, just flashlight got some more of these cards we had these and we auctioned them off last week in one of the train lots those are kind of cool uh, good for tr train collectors. Here's a brand new baseball hat. Wait, is it new? Sure feels new. Yeah, it's new. It's got the cardboard in it still. There's the tag. And it's, uh, there's the hologram sticker. It's a very nice hat. Okay, got a couple more die cast cards right here. With certificate of authenticity. Ornament, some Jack Daniels stuff. This is good. Look at this. Hot Wheels. Here's those classic editions. These go for a little bit more money than the regular ones. And uh, ooh, you got a Woody right there. Who's who, who likes those? Doug Miller, are you watching the video? I know you're going to like that. These are different. These are Hot Wheels, but they're called Cop Rods. Cop Rods. So a little bit something different. I haven't seen those before, so that's something new. And then a few, was it? One, two, three, half dozen uh, regular old Hot Wheels. So nice lot. Pretty, pretty good box right there box bin whatever all right it's another uh, pretty full looking like miscellaneous stuff i like it it's fun let's take that out and show you what we got all right some decent stuff here not as good as the last box i'll show you real quick brand new leather wallet it was brand new in the original box never open a couple of hot wheel things uh, mcdonald's happy meal da -da -da -da. little a's hot hot wheels we got this little ceramic there it's actually pretty nice but i think you put a candle in it he has little conductors overalls on he's got a train definitely train related uh here's a couple pezzes a couple happy meal things here's an ace tumbler sharks golf towel one piece of department 56 three christmas cords christmas tree cords those go to the flea market um 24 i got a dozen hot wheels here so that's two lots in our auctions that's cool. Jungle Book. Check this out. Walt Disney Jungle Book. It's sealed. I don't know if that makes it worth anything or not. Diecast Car. Another one. Uh, Christmas Vacation. Brand new seal. I think we got some um, CDs here. That one's open. That one's open. I think the rest of them are, are sealed. Madonna. Shakira. Van Halen. Vince Neil. 
So these are all like sealed up. Uh, I think that makes them a little more valuable. I don't know. We'll still auction them off as a lot, but uh, pretty good stuff. So yeah, not bad. All right, here's the next box. See right here, it says table, trophies, lamp, clock. Uh, yeah, that's what it looks like. Looks like a lampshade. <laughs> and that looks like the back of a clock. All right, well, let's pull it all out and take a look at it. Okay, not as much in this box here uh, because we got these big bulky items here. So we got three trophies, got a baseball, a couple bowling. That's kind of cool. It says 1985 on it. So we got this old radio right here. General Electric. It's okay. Looks a little rough or it might just be dusty. Got this old drill right here. Uh, is that called a drill? I don't know. It's this old kind when you push it and it turns, I believe. I don't know. So it's old though. We'll bring that to the antique market. This as well we'll bring to the antique market. I can't say it's pretty, but <laughs> it's definitely different and it is definitely old. So we'll bring that out there. See if anybody wants it. We've got a tumbler, SeaWorld. We've got this tablecloth with Oakland A's. Uh, we'll take a look at this in a second. This I think is an air pump, right? For an aquarium or something. This lampshade's thrashed. This one right here is like an illustration line art of a a train and that's actually pretty cool and then we've got this bag here so look at this whoa what is that what the heck is that they're like jazzercise they're like what are those they look like beer caps auto caps uh we got we got a whole bunch of pins Tons. Oh, there's Raiders. We've got tons more pins. Tons. Tons. Many, many, many more pins. And this is great. Great, 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 guys. Good stuff. All right, here's the next box. Chewy. <laughs> Chewy box. Yeah. All right, what do we got? Okay, it looks like a die-cast plane. Oh, there's Barbie in there. And... I don't know. What's this? Oh, this is a train thing? Oh, yeah, this is another train one. Shoot, we just sold one of these in the auction not too long ago. All right, let's 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 dig this out and see what we got. All right, that was a nice little box. Check this out. So, first up, we got a, a record here. Ed Noddle, coach of the Oakland A's, uh, to Baseball with Love. So, apparently he recorded an album, and he also signed this in 1983. Pretty cool. We got this set right here. We did sell one of these recently in our auctions. We did kind of like a big train lot. I don't know. Very nice. It all looks brand new as well. It's good. Good, 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 good. And then we've got some train pieces here. Mm, it's got some overspray or something on it. Uh, this one's a locomotive right here. Very nice. Heavy. This is a Lionel. Cool. That's good. That's good. It's got a little smokestack here, too. I think that probably produces real smoke. Yeah, we got these little pieces here. Very, very good. There's a Lionel piece right here. Okay, O scale. And a little cheap pumpkin decoration there. Probably go to the flea market with that. Here's a 2007 Barbie. We'll look that up, see if it's got some value. This is cool. Die cast. And it's a plane. We've had tons of die cast cars, but here's a plane. And uh, look at this. Waco Airplane. Waco Airplane. Huh. And then this is so neat. Telematch 4. Television computer game. I believe this is like a Pong. That's what it looks like anyways. It looks like Pong. Let's open that up and see what it looks like. Oh, okay. Check this out. This thing is in the bag. It has been taken out. But look at this. It looks, it looks brand new. It really does. It looks brand new. The cord, unfortunately, wasn't wound back up in... It's got um, styrofoam like stuck to it. I think the styrofoam is just so old. It's like almost like it melted, but I think it's just deteriorating or something. But look at this. These uh, controllers are looking like they're super, super uh, great shape. And I guess you turn these to move the paddle up and down. It's a rotating knob. These are in fantastic condition. This is, this is a really nice example. Once you get the um, styrofoam cleaned off the cord, this thing is going to be probably about as nice of a condition that you find uh, versus a brand new one 
So kind of neat little find. I don't know if there's a value in that. I'll have to look that up as well. Okay, guys, check this out. We've got a few of these trunks to go through. And this one, I just moved over here, but I know what's in here. Look at this. This is actually really interesting. Look at this. All Hot Wheels. Well, die cast. I see some Kiss cars over there. Look at this. Isn't that crazy? So many. So many. <laughs> so cool. Oh, wow. Look at this. John Glenn. All right, so I'm going to pull all these out. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Another one of these racing ones. There's another Kiss one right there. There's a Kiss one right there. Um, all right, let me pull all these out, and we'll take a look at what we got. It's a ton of stuff. All right, check this out. Oh, what a table. This is so exciting. Look at this. All these are Kiss cars. All of these are Hot Wheels. We're going to have... We're going to be definitely loaded up in our auctions for quite a while. We got these Pro Racing Series here. Um, these have done very well in the auction, so I'm excited about having more of those. And that's what all of these are as well, those Pro Racing ones, all different types of variations on that Pro Racing. These, I think, might be something special. I think we had one of these before, these Hot Wheels collectibles. It wasn't this one. This one's really, really nice. 67 Corvette Stingray. And then look at this, 30-year, Hot Wheel 30-year. Uh, we had some of these too. That's uh, a boat one. Interesting. And then this one, that's weird too. They're all weird cars, huh? And then this one, this one unfortunately is open. I don't know if the glue just came off or if that was opened. It doesn't look like anything's disturbed on the inside. Firebird funny car, very cool. And we have this custom car designer set, John Glenn set that we saw first thing, and a uh, Matchbox car, and then three of these five packs here. So that's a basically, guys, everything you see here is going to make our auction block uh, in the next week or two. Very exciting stuff. All right, we're going to wrap that up. Now, you probably tell if you've been watching our auctions, you've seen a lot of these items over the past few auctions. Well, I've been working on this video for a little while. I'm so sorry I haven't got out more videos lately, but this is the best I can do. It's been a tremendous amount of work trying to keep up with the auctions, and the auctions have been fantastic. We've been selling tons of stuff every week, couple, either two or three auctions every week. We're going longer. We're selling more items. It's been fantastic because it's been a way for us to earn income during this shelter-in-place mess that we're in we can't go to the flea markets but it's also been a really new fun and interesting element to the channel but it has gotten in the way of me making videos well this week we're going back to the auctions let's let's say we hope we're going back to the auctions they're scheduled let's hope they don't cancel and we're hoping we're gonna be buying some exciting lockers right here in the next few days we'll definitely be making some videos and sharing those but in the meantime, I'll do some more of these speed unboxings so I can at least show you what I'm doing in the garage and what we're finding. All right. Thanks you guys so much for watching. Thank you so much for subscribing. If you haven't yet, go ahead and do that. Thanks for hitting the thumbs up. Please do that too. And we'll have another video out soon. But don't forget our auctions Mondays at 6 p.m. Pacific, Wednesdays at 4 p.m. Pacific. We hope to see you there too. All right. Take care. And until then, good luck to you. God bless you. We'll see you next time here on Lockerdance.